mom living in New Jersey and me being in LA has made it really hard because I've said numerous times, Ma, let's get a nutritionist at the house. I am worried about my mom's health. She's not old, you know, she's in her 60s, but it's like, it's a quality of life. And I want her to have a better life. It is mandatory from the doctor. She needs to have weight loss. There's just too much on her body and her bones. It's putting a strain on her heart. It's a matter of like life and death now. I can I lose a weight. They're feeding me here. I don't know if mom's about to do spin, but if we get some exercise, I think she'll feel much better when we get some weight loss in there. I think it's a horrible, stupid idea to take my mother to the gym, a woman that big, who literally like knees hurt, back hurts, everything. I think Rico doesn't go to the gym because I think he has gym phobia. I'm so gonna show you up at the gym, it's amazing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Then extend the arms all the way up, inhale. I have a trainer friend by the name of Carlos, and I've been going to the gym, trying my best to really take care of myself. So we'll see how this goes, because I don't think my mother has ever walked in the gym, and I don't know how Rico's even walked into a gym, maybe when we were kids. Well, come on, mama. One more, 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 one more. Okay. You feel good? I don't think she should be working out anymore. No, no, like this is okay. She's fine, Rico. She's doing this. Yes, yes, yes. She can't do that? Really? Are you kidding me? He's just saying it because he doesn't want to do it. Oh, no, I I'll do it. I think we should let mommy sit down and me and you do it. Do we it. have a little competition, me and you. See who's do fucking it. works out harder. Do this, I'll put good, you under the table. I like to be competitive with her on certain levels, but she's got a little bit more of that competitive drive in her than I do. I'm not competitive, because I'm one of those, like, if it means that much to you, more power to you. God bless. Here we go. <laughs> Kicking your ass. <laughs> Kicking your ass. No, you're not. How does it feel now I do everything better than you? Yeah. You go four. Three more. Two more. One more. Uh, okay. Yes, you got it. Come on. You yes. got it. Up, up, down, down. Hold on, I want to face her because it'll give me more motivation oh, to be okay. here. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. He's winning. Rosa, he's winning. Four, three, two, take a seat. That's Ooh. it. We're all sitting. Oh, whoa, you're right. <laughs> I was doing push-ups. Oh, yes, that's I think the gym can be intimidating to somebody who's not a natural athlete. I don't think it's not a good idea. I just don't want to do it, and it's that's why I need to do it. Me. Ah. Come on, push up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pulling that navel into the spine. I hate you. Yes. I hate everything about you. Come, come on, again. mama, everybody stretch. You want to sit next to Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> I lost 250 pounds since the surgery. I was 500 pounds. And you know, that was a lot of hard work, but now I gotta take it to the next level. When you get the surgery, losing weight is one thing, and then getting fit is a whole nother thing. I definitely, for a person who never works out, did a little better than you, I'm just saying. Never works out. He does the elliptical at the house, guys. Don't believe him. I work out in secret like I used to eat in secret. <laughs> Ma, relax, oh, go yeah. slow. Rico, really? I'm okay. Mom is struggling with weight. She had back surgery. And I have such fear around the inevitable moment that one day she might not, she will not be here. Stop. Good job, Mom. Done. I'm very proud of you. Come on, I got some lunch. Let's okay. go. Thank you. I've decided to do a sweet cherry pepper stuffed with tuna salad, but a light tuna salad. Mom would normally use an olive oil-based tuna. The Italian tuna that's in olive oil is amazing and brilliant and tastes amazing. But we're gonna do tuna in water. I have it drained and ready to roll. And then just take the caps off on these peppers. I love sweet cherry peppers. I think they taste great. And I'm trying to be inventive and, and creative when it comes to mom and the Italian food and Italian food items that are healthy. Everyone's answer to me is like, whole wheat pasta. And it is a dish that we're gonna be serving for lunch today. But what inspired this dish was my mom makes an amazing stuffed mushroom. It is so good, but it's filled with breadcrumbs, filled with cheese. And we're just trying to get away from that and help her think outside her box, her old school ways of doing things box. This is the kind of thing I'd like to do, something quick and easy, and I have to get my veggies in. So I have the carrots, red onions, and some celery. Quick and easy. Chop, chop, chop. Shake, shake, shake. Get that really chopped up nicely. Look at all that beautiful color. I'm all about color. I like pretty. I want everything to be pretty. I just got too much to ask. And then again, with the capers and the olives, just chop these up really small in this because we're gonna stuff them in the cherry peppers. And they're not huge, these cherry peppers. Get it in there, done. Let's get some of this in there. Beautiful, I really hope mom likes this. Now listen, I have salt here. I'm not doing salt, but 
I am a big fan of the brine of the capers. So let's just get some juice and it'll help with binding the tuna because we're not using any mayo in this. I'm really trying to pull away on that fat, but I think we have a great texture here. Once we grab the cherry pepper and put in here our little stuffing that we created. And you can, if you'd like, add a little hat. And I like doing like the green hat with the red bottom. Again, pretty. This is a great appetizer, like if you're doing hors d'oeuvres. I'm really scared, because I gotta tell you, my mom's a tough critic. She's hard, she's tough. But let's see how this rolls with mom. Bon appetito, let's see how this works. Mmm. Did you hear that? That was awesome. Everybody that wanted me to lose weight for that. Hey, I, I gotta try. We see. The, the sweet like cherry peppers. Very nice. And then I put the tuna. Let me oh, try it. The chef, you did a good job. It's one bite. Okay. Why well, you gotta be very an animal good. about it? Oh, my oh, That's gonna hurt your stomach. Whatever you just did right now. Yeah, the slow. Be slow. Gone. Breathe. Take a breath. You always have to talk. Rosa, listen. What? The pasta, you miss something. What? You miss a little olive oil. You miss a little cheese. Pecorini cheese. Ricotta, ricotta salata. I miss about 700 calories is oh. what I'm missing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I think that you is my gym. big problem, Ross. <laughs> you I, have like, to... I like to see with the flavor. I gotta tell you, these are great. I'm shocked. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, right. right? Congratulations. You, see, you, you, pop, did, you finally did something right. You with this because it's good with the cherry pepper. Well, cherry pepper. Why are you trying to sell it? The when you make something good, you don't have to ask if it's good. Let's break up. They you can't just have you one. Face. I can't have one thing and say, oh, this is a great dish if I just had this. It's the experience. No. You need a little Kids. bit of everything. Kids. No. Kids. As a great Kids. cook that I am, I'm I put gonna... the food on the table and I just watch. I don't need to ask. I got to see. Whatever. You sound like five years old kids. This dish right here, you think we should do it on the truck? As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing like having your mom around, period. I don't idolize anybody as much as I, I, my mother. I'm her biggest fan. Yes, Rosie's her biggest fan. I, I am love her my biggest mother, fan. Even Rosie. though she, he's her favorite, I'm her biggest fan. Really. Enjoy it. Okay. It's a healthy food, it's okay. Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.